So let's find the general term of the same given earlier. 5, 11, 19, 29, 41, 55. But this time using the shortcut method. And let's see if we will still arrive with the same answer, which is n squared plus 3n plus 1. Okay. Now, the shortcut method requires you to use the three formulas in order for you to get a, b, and c. But the reference here class is still the same. Um, using the general term of quadratic, which is a sub n, a n squared, plus b n, plus c. We're in the concept here. Still, you have to get the values of a, b, and c. Now, the first step is somehow the same. You have to get the interval of each number for you to verify if this is a second degree. 5 to 11, this is 6. 11 to 19, it's 8. 19 to 29, it's 10. And then 29 to 41, it is 12. Then 41 to 55, it is 14. So indeed, this is not a first, I mean, yeah, this is not a first degree sequence. So we go further, 6 to 8, it is 2, then 8 to 10, it is 2, then 10 to 12, it's 2, then 12 to 14, it is 2. So, still, I mean, it is indeed a second degree sequence, so therefore, we're going to make use of this general term, a n squared plus b n plus c. Now, the process here, again, is for you to use the three formulas, okay? And you're going to solve this from top to bottom, okay? So let's start with the first um, equation. The first equation is for you to find a. 2a is equal to, again, the first, I know, not the first, but the second layer value. Okay, now the second equation is 3a plus b equals the first number in the first layer. The third equation, a plus b plus c is equal to the first term. So let's start coming up with these three equations using the given. So 2a is equal to the second layer value. Well, in this case, 2a equals what's the second layer value? It is 2. So that's the first. Okay. So divide this by 2. You have now value of a, which is 1. Second equation. 3a plus b equals the first layer, I mean first number in the first layer. Well, here are the numbers in the first layer. And the first number there is 6. So the sec second equation will be 3a plus b equals the first number in the first layer is 6. Using the value of a here, substitute it um, in the second equation, this will be 3 times 1 plus b is equal to 6. 3 times 1 is 3. Transpose that to the other side, it becomes 6 minus 3, which is 3. Third. Third formula is a plus b plus c equals the first term. Well, in this case, the first term is 5. So, Using a, which is 1, using b, which is 3, and then we're looking for c, so remain as is, c equals 5. So 1 plus 3 is 4, transpose that to the other side, it becomes negative 4. So c is equal to 1. So having a, b, and c, so the general term now of this given is let's use the general term of quadratic a sub n 
is equal to a n squared plus b n plus c. And then, substitute 1 times n squared plus 3 times n plus 1, which will be n squared plus 3n plus 1, which is just the same with our previous answer. n squared plus 3n plus 1, and then n squared plus 3n plus 1. Which do you prefer? This long method or the shortcut? It's up to you. So let's use the second example earlier, which is negative 1, 5, 15, 29, 47, 69. And let's see if we will arrive still with this answer using the shortcut method. The given is negative 1, 5, 15, 29, 47, 69. Okay. So still, the process is the same. Get the interval. This is 6. This is 10. This is 14. This is 18. And this is 22. This is 4. This is 4. 4. 4. So indeed, this is a second degree. So the reference here is a n a sub n, a n squared, plus b n, plus um, c. So let's start with the first equation. The first formula is, again, second layer value, 2a equals the first layer value. I know, not the first layer value, but the second layer value, which is 4. So divide this by 2, a becomes 2. Now, for the second equation, that is 3a plus b equals the first number in the first layer, which is 6. So this will be substitute um, the value of 2, I mean the value of a here which is 3 times 2 plus b is equal to 6. 3 times 2 is 6. So transpose this to the other side. 6 minus 6 is 0. So that's your b. Now for the third formula again, that is a plus b plus c is equal to the first um, term, negative 1. So it's easy actually to memorize the formula. It is because the equals here or the constant here is parang paganto yung pattern niya. 4, tapos 6, and then negative 1. Okay? So this will be, let's use now the value of A and then the B. This will be 2 plus 0 plus C equals negative 1. Transpose this to the other side. This will be neglected or 0, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3. So C is equal to negative 3. You have A, B, and C. So using this, A n squared plus B n plus C, it will be um, 2 times n squared plus 0 times n plus negative 3, which is 2n squared. This will be cancelled, the negative 3, which is just the same with the previous answer.